By 2050, the number of people in the world aged 60 or older will be 22% of the total global population. But is this where investors should be operating? Services for Seniors is anywhere from 300 billion to 500 billion in financial opportunity by 2026, as the number of people aged 60 years or older rises from 900 million to about 2 billion between 2015 and 2050. The numbers have attracted investors, but in some sectors, profits are hard to find. Those who made investments in skilled nursing facilities have in many cases lost out as a shift to value-based reimbursements, new technologies, and patient preferences have reduced the days people spend there. A chronic, uh, no pun intended, problem is that the healthcare system is fragmented. Cost savings in one place don't necessarily benefit other parties. Seeing this as an opportunity, insurtech companies such as Clover Health are betting that they can operate efficiently enough that the per patient flat payment they get from Medicaid Advantage will cover both care and profits. Long-term care insurance was supposed to provide a fix for the support most of us will need at the end of life. But providers have been surprised by how long people are living and how much medical costs have gone up. So the policies have been drastically underpriced, locking firms into providing benefits that cost significantly more than the funds taken in premiums, and pushing caregiving onto family members who pay a tremendous economic and personal cost. The reality is that despite for-profit interest, it's really hard to give great care and get great returns. It'd be great to stay in touch. Sign up for monthly insights at ritamagrath.com newsletter.